What's good guys, it's Nick Belletta from Belletta Brigade. I just got back to not so sunny Columbia, South Carolina a few hours ago. Um, ready to finish up the second half of my second semester of my freshman year in college. I just uh, finished up a pretty intense leg workout. I'm sipping on two scoops of Optimum Nutrition's uh, vanilla protein powder and I'm about to eat this uh, trail mix Nature Valley fruit and nut bar. Um, has 25 grams of carbs, 3 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat. So pretty good macros when you pair it up with the two scoops of protein powder that I'm about to have too. Um, anyway, for my leg workout, I did. Uh, I like to keep it simple with legs, whereas with uh, my upper body, I like to do like three to five movements per body part, legs, squats, and deadlifts, just a ton of sets of squats and deadlifts, and then I do a burnout of quad extensions and hamstring curls, and that's all I do. So I keep it simple for legs, guys. You know, I'm not looking to get, like, wheels of steel. Um, you know, I, I just want to have proportional legs. I want to have strong legs because uh, I do play baseball. So I want to be strong and powerful, not necessarily have big, chunky legs. But uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll talk to you soon. What's up, guys? It is Tuesday morning. Pretty early in the morning, so excuse if I don't look my best. I just had a lot on my mind yesterday. Um, feeling pretty stressed out already, getting back to school, you know just like maintaining my grades and stuff. Um, I officially got into the exercise science program here at school, which is pretty awesome. It's definitely what I want to be doing. Um, you know, I'm excited to finally be able to take some anatomy and physiology classes, you know, so hopefully I can relay some of that information to you guys. Um, I had a really good workout yesterday, did chest and back. Uh, I already made a video on my chest and back routine that I'm following right now. Um, I'm also pretty excited because I am halfway done uh, Vince Delmani's 100 rep muscle program. Um, his protocol is about 28 days and you're supposed to, there's three, three day cycles, you're supposed to do them twice a week, but with spring break and everything, I haven't been able to do the protocol that way. So I just figured out that you're supposed to do everything eight times in the month. So I'm just going to do everything eight times. And yesterday was, I finished up the fourth cycle. So I'm halfway done it. I definitely feel like I'm making some progress. I definitely like the direction that I'm headed. So I'm very excited to do arms and shoulders today. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. What's good guys? Just got back from my first class. Uh, I had breakfast this morning. I had a sausage, egg and cheese on an everything bagel from Einstein Bros. But um, it's about 11.30 now, I'm kinda hungry, so made myself some oatmeal. It's uh, one serving of old fashioned oats with a scoop of peanut butter marshmallow protein powder in because usually I put either almond butter or protein or peanut butter in my oatmeal, so I decided, you know, this would be a good amount of protein and lower the fats from my breakfast because my breakfast this morning was pretty high in fats. And I'm also on the Scott Herman Fitness website. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but um, it's basically like Facebook for fitness gurus like myself. So right now I'm entering in my workout from yesterday. I'm entering in my food that I'm eating. Of course, I'm also on my fitness pal as well. But um, if you guys are looking for a way to, you know, extend your social networking beyond just Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, you know, check out scotthermanfitness.com. Um, I'm pretty new to the site, but uh, you can add me on there, Nick Boletto. Um, and I'm really enjoying using the site so far. Uh, Scott's already reached out to me. He's a really nice guy. He'll answer your emails if you do email him. You know, I'm working on writing some articles for his site right now, so it's pretty cool stuff. I would definitely check it out if I were you. 
What's up guys? Just finished up an arms and shoulders workout. I'm sipping on some Optimum Whey. Just one scoop today because I'm pretty high on my protein already. And I've got a fruit and nut bar for you know lots of carbs. Um, feel like I got a pretty good pump. So I hope you enjoy the footage and I'll talk to you guys soon. What's up guys? Shoulders and arm day. Everybody's favorite day. So uh, today I decided to do triceps first, shoulders second, and then biceps last. So I like to start off with a heavy compound movement for each body part. So for triceps I chose the close grip bench press. Uh, I was really trying to focus on keeping my elbows tucked in the entire movement. Really focus on like trying to snap that bar in half. Um, I think I did a pretty decent job of that. I actually hit a PR today. That was 170 pounds that I was doing. Now here I'm doing a standing overhead tricep extension. Um, one thing that I've been doing recently that I've really been liking is instead of counting my reps, I've been tracking uh, the time of my sets because as, as we know, time under tension is the key to building muscle. So it's been proven that about 40 seconds is the time that you need. So I do sets of 40 seconds instead of sets of say 8 to 12 reps. Um, and I've been noticing some shirt splitting pumps recently. So uh, I've really been liking that. Um, next I just did a one burnout set of uh, tricep extensions here. Um, really pausing at the bottom, fully flexing the tricep and then flexing the bicep when I come up to the top. That's the only way to really do it right. Uh, next I went ahead and I moved on the shoulders. I did a seated dumbbell shoulder press. Uh, today I was using 50s for sets of four which was also a PR for me. I was feeling pretty good. I'm wearing that fresh gym Gymshark tank. You know, you gotta you gotta lift heavy if you're gonna wear tank top in the gym. So um, I did the uh, dumbbell shoulder press. Like I said, was feeling pretty good today. Looking pretty strong. I may say so myself. Um, then I did some seated dumbbell shoulder lateral raises. I guess. Um, you know, I, I like doing things seated just so that I don't have to focus on what I'm doing with my legs and what I'm doing with my core. You know, when I do them seated, I just tuck my shoulder blades together, pin them onto the back of the chair, and then I can really just focus in on contracting the muscle that I want to contract. Uh, here, a big thing is uh, a lot of guys will say to like lift with your pinkies, but I think it's important to really lift from the elbows and you want to aim your elbows towards the back of the gym in order to really hit that side head of the shoulder which is what you're aiming for so again I did the 40 seconds time set thing uh, this was absolutely brutal on these um, I was in some pain by my last set I think this is my first or second set of this so not quite as bad but you can definitely tell that I'm grimacing then I went ahead, moved on the biceps, did four sets of heavy curls, and I also did incline dumbbell curls and concentration curls, but I did not film those. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.